Welcome to PC Analytics. Today, we're gonna to dig into the differences between two top performing AIO coolers, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 240 versus the NZXT Kraken X53. We've got our test bench right here, ready to put these coolers to the test and give you all the information you need to make the perfect choice for your setup. Both coolers are in the 240 millimeter AIO weight class and each offer a distinct look. The Arctic Liquid Freezer has an all black design with RGB versions available. Arctic is known for providing quality cooling at a competitive price. On the other hand, the NZXT Kraken X53 comes in black and white and offers a unique and modern look with its AIO pump featuring infinity glass with RGB accents. In regards to insulation, the liquid freezer is a breeze to install with the fans already daisy chains and connected to the radiator. However, the Kraken requires fan placement and doesn't provide a daisy chain solution out of the box. Additionally, the screws to connect the radiator to the case are rather short and may not be long enough if the case material is too thick. But we know you're here to see how these two coolers perform, so let's dive into it. We've tested both coolers with the AMD 5800X CPU over idle, high, and overclock temperatures, and have two sets of charts to show you, one that looks performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts normalized by percent speeds, we have temperatures on the left represented by the saw line, noise on the right represented by the dash line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Liquid Freezer 2, in blue, has similar performance to the Kraken X53 in red. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the Kraken begins to materially outperform across the board. However, the Kraken is also noticeably louder after 40% fan speed. As we turn up the heat to 125 watts, we can see that this trend continues. In our second set of charts normalized by sound, we have temperatures on the left, noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, the coolers continue to perform similarly. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the Kraken begins to outperform slightly for a given noise level. When we push the CPU to 125 watts, we can see that the Kraken marginally extends its lead. And if you're curious on how the Arctic Freezer stacks up against a top air cooler, the NHD15, you should check out this video comparing these two coolers. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this content and found it valuable, I invite you to support us by giving us a thumbs up or hitting that subscribe button. Your support is appreciated.